to, uh, with that interchangeable camera. And today, we're glad to show you its successor, which is, of course, the X-Pro2. And uh, it's dramatically upgraded. So we have the new viewfinder, new sensor, new processor, uh, new uh, weather-resistant body, and other new um, uh, features that I'll talk about briefly today. So five years ago, Fujifilm became the company that invented the hybrid viewfinder. And we became the first ever camera maker in camera history to make this kind of viewfinder. And we still are the only manufacturer to make that kind of viewfinder. And no other company could do um, this kind of viewfinder, like the one uh, in the X-Pro2. So many of you already know uh, the, uh, the benefits of a hybrid viewfinder. But let me just uh, do a quick refresh. So on a typical camera, be it a DSLR or, or, or a mirrorless camera, you have a field of view of about 95% or 100% um, field of view. So this is uh, roughly what you see through the viewfinder. However, many things can happen outside your viewfinder. So there. So this is what you see when you look through the hybrid viewfinder of the X-Pro2. With the hybrid viewfinder, you can see bigger than 100% and prepare for the best composition when your subject comes into your viewfinder. So this is the hybrid viewfinder that we invented five years ago. And now, today, it's, uh, we, we have kept on innovating it and now um, it is in the X-Pro2. Now, optical viewfinders, um, natin, uh, a lot of photographers like view, uh, optical viewfinders. Well, because it's a window of glass, so it shows you real life without any delay. So it's fantastic. It's, it's very nice to use the optical viewfinder. However, viewfinders cannot show you color. Um, uh, it cannot show you exposure. It cannot show you correct white balance, and so on. So the latest hybrid viewfinder has got the electronic range finder. Uh, type of viewfinder. So it, it's an optical viewfinder, pero dito sa, sa buba, sa mayroong uh, small EVF screen that is projected. So you can look at exposure, you can look at balance, colors, plus you can also magnify it. So close up, so you're focusing, you can check your focusing, and expression of course of your main subject. So this gives you both um, the benefits of optical and electronic viewfinders. And this is what Fujifilm can uniquely offer. So no other camera brands can offer this kind of um, a feature. So we redesigned the components, actually, of the viewfinder. So it's newly designed optical units. So it's auto-switchable magnification, so depending on the focal length, on the, on the lens that you use, so it uh, automatically switches already. And of course, it's very high resolution, and it's very fast, it's very real-time. So what we're saying is that imagine all those optics inside that tiny part of the camera viewfinder. So our, our, um, we actually call it a breakthrough in engineering, because imagine putting that kind of technology in that very, very small space. So why, is, why are viewfinders important for us, Fujifilm? And more importantly, why is it important to the photographer? Because we know that communication with the main subject is, very, is, the, is a very important essence of photography. With this style of viewfinder, so what happens with your right eye, naka tutok sa viewfinder, and at the same time, you have your other eye that's free to open and to communicate with your subject. So it's the photographer that communicates with your subject, not the hardware you hold. So we would like, with the new X-Pro2, we would like to bring back that important essence of photography to our consumers, to our photographers. Now let's go to image quality. Image quality is the DNA of Fujifilm. Fujifilm was born with it. Um, many said that we may not be the fastest system, but when it comes to image quality, Fujifilm is second to none. So the bar is set very high, and we know and we think that we have the right technologies to, to set this bar even higher, to take it to an even higher level. So with the X-Pro2, 
we came up with the third generation X transimus sensor, which is the X transimus 3. Now, what's in the X transimus 3? What's new with it? First, of, of course, it's 24 megapixels. It's the highest ever in um, X system history. But it's not just a 24 megapixel sensor. It's super high quality, super fast 24 megapixel sensor. And at the same time, it's su I said it's super fast because of the transfer copper process technology, which is, which is a new technology. And of course, uh, the tried and tested, very unique to Fujifilm, the 6x6 six six random arrangement of pixels, so that um, the architecture of the sensor is OLPF-less, or without optical low-pass filter, which of course gives you a higher resolution than it already is. And of course, this is um, a very good new feature. We have a larger face detection area. So it covers 234% larger face detection area. What does this mean? It makes autofocus very fast and much more accurate than before. All right. And of course, to maximize the new sensor, the new super fast, super high quality sensor, it needs a super fast processor also. So we developed the, what we call uh, the new generation of our processors, which is the X Processor Pro, which is four times more powerful than the X Transimus, uh, the EXR Processor 2, which is uh, in our other cameras. Now, of course, the Fujinon XF lenses that we have are very high, we all know that they are very sharp, very high quality, and they are already designed actually for higher megapixels. So when combined with the power of the new sensor, with the power of the new uh, processor pro, uh, Fujinon lenses are maximized. And we, say, we can say, we can confidently say that resolution is way higher than before. And actually our, our Fujifilm Japan actually says that resolution it can exceed 30 megapixels. And of course, aside, because of the new sensor and of course the new processor, we get better high ISO sensitivity, sensitivity performance. So uh, we used to say like at 6.4 you're very safe. At 6.4 that's very high already. DSLRs 1.8, ISO, kita na yung gains. But with the X-Pro2, usable 12,800 ISO with very acceptable low noise. So that's, um, that's very, it's very incredible. It's very fantastic technology that's uh, that's inside the X-Pro2. Now, let's go to color. Color is in the heart of every Fujifilm camera. Because we have, again, as it was what Ms. Man said a while ago, we have 80 years of um, proven uh, experience with color. So um, I'm sure maybe some of you have used our uh, Provia films, Astia, um, and other films before. And, of, and with that, we can say that we know our color, and that we are able to reproduce beautiful colors as you remember them. So we have um, warm, natural, healthy-looking skin tones, green is green, your vibrant reds, and of course your, your skies, they're clear blue. So for example, this one, the photo, photo by Nico Villegas. So you get pops of color, it's still very natural skin tone. So you see blue skies, blue, uh, the, the water is very blue. This one is by Romel Bundalian. And this one by Dito C, so we get really vibrant colors. And this is, um, only Fujifilm can recreate these kinds of colors. And of course, Fujifilm is the only company, only company that offers film simulation modes. So other companies, um, they do not have this film simulation modes like, like, like us. So you can actually choose your color, your film simulation based on the tonality or saturation. Like for example, you're shooting um, festivals. You go for Velvia because saturation is high, tonality is, is very hard. So, and you have like options for classic chrome, for muted colors, for beautiful skin tones. You do Pronex standard and Pronex high. And so with the new X-Pro2, we expanded the expression of monochrome by introducing a new Acros mode. So this is a sample by Patrick Leroux from Canada. 
Yeah, he's a, an ex-photographer from Canada. So this is a typical tone curve of a conventional black and white mode. Sometimes because it's too smooth, and sometimes it lacks contrast. But with the new Acros mode, you get a more dynamic, more contrasty image, and rich textures without actually washing out the highlights. And at the same time, it also maintains the deep blacks. And even the shadows may details pa din. Dito sa part ng shadows. So only, so we can say that um, Acros is actually very superior to any other monochrome or black and white modes. So Acros describes higher details and rich textures. So this is only available with the X-Pro 2. All right. Now, we've been working very hard um, to improve the autofocus performance of our X-Series camera. So face detection pixels on the new x CMOS 3 sensor is actually, it covers 234% um, larger than the x CMOS 2. So we have more autofocus points now, 273. And of course, contrast autofocus is two times faster. What does this mean? Autofocus performance is significantly faster and more accurate than before. Now let's go naman to design and operability. So if you look at the design of the X-Pro2, so it, it, it looks very similar to the X-Pro1. However, uh, we totally refreshed uh, the design. So we would like to actually do uh, our, consume, our photographers to concentrate on shooting. So as you can see, every buttons and key functions are all on the right part of the camera. So you have the focus lever, uh, you have the ISO dials, and shutter speed uh, on the top. So all on the right part of the camera. So when you use the camera, you're, you're able to operate the, uh, the X-Pro2 with just one hand and concentrate um, your eyes on the viewfinder. So um, this is the, uh, a, new, uh, a new feature of the X-Pro2 for the one-handed operation. And of course, let's look at the top of the X-Pro2. This is the X-Pro1. So one of the, again, one of the DNA of Fujifilm is actually dial-based intuitive operability. So this, you, you cannot, you, you're, you're not able to experience intuitive dial operation with your DSLRs or other cameras. And um, we, we pride ourselves in having cameras with dial, um, dials and buttons outside of the camera. So in addition to um, the shutter speed dial, we have the ISO dial built in, the shutter speed dial. So what you do, um, you pull up motion and then you, you, you turn it. So it's very similar to the old film camera. So there's that old vintage feel, retro feel of um, film cameras. And of course, shutter speed. If you've owned um, an X-T1 or other X-Series cameras, that day it's until one or four thousandth of a second. So now the mechanical shutter is up to one over eight thousandth of a second. And of course, the exposure compensation uh, dial. So as you can see, there's a letter C. So what does this do? If you put it on C, you can actually um, adjust the exposure compensation by plus minus five. So imagine the highlights or the shadows that you can recover by just turning it to C plus five, plus or minus five. So basically the whole, um, the X-Pro2, before you even open the camera, you can set your ISO, your aperture, your preferred exposure compensation, your, your aperture on the, on the ring, uh, your shutter speed, so everything is outside. But before you even turn it on, you set it and that you cannot do with other cameras. And of course, again, I said that the, there's a new uh, maximum shutter of 1 over 8,000 per second. And this is interesting, the 8-way focus lever. Uh, I'd like you to try it later in the touch and try. Because that thing I say with the X-T1, you have to like press um, the, the one button first before you can move the AF points. Now, diretso na. This is an 8-way, uh, up, down, side, side, tapos diagonal. So um, it's very intuitive because when you're shooting, you're, you're looking into the viewfinder and then you just um, use the joystick to move your AF area. So your AF points, I mean, um, 
And then of course you have dual SD card slots. So if you're you're, you're really big on shooting like festivals or like um, you're in advertising, you have like two SD uh, card slots already uh, for you. And of course we have a higher resolution LCD screen and um, weather resistant. Now you uh, weather a uh, new weather resistant body, so they have confidence in shooting outside under the rain. Um, so snow, so it's um, very possible already. Now um, let's go to the uh, new XE2. So the XE2 has been around for two years already, and uh, still it's still a very popular camera for photographers. And of course, um, Fuji we take pride in being a company that listens to our to our consumers. So we have we have received a lot of requests na parang upgrade, please upgrade the XE2 already. And so we are introducing the XE2S with the latest firmware. So aside from these uh, features already uh, in the XE2 body, the XE2S will get the new AF system, the new uh, high ISO sensitivity is now up to 51,200. It gets an, el uh, an electronic shutter. And of course, it has an auto scene recognition. There's an auto button at the back already. So this is a sample by um, uh, our ex-photographer, John Gonzalez, the very talented John Gonzalez. So he used the XE2S uh, for this photo. So what does this mean to the existing uh, XE2 consumers? So do they need to upgrade to the XE2S? They, do they need to buy a new camera? Of course not. Um, we are offering a firmware up update coming February 2016. So it will make the functionality of the XE2 the same as the XE2S. So again, this is the hallmark of Fujifilm. Um, we, we religiously give upgrades, firmware upgrades to our um, consumers. So of course, let's go to the lens systems. Over the past four years, we have been working hard to expand the lineup of the systems. I remember when we launched the X-Pro1, we only had three lenses. 60, macro, 18mm, and the 35mm. And then we started expanding. We, had, we now have zooms, we now have wide primes, we have telephoto primes, we have like a teleconverter already, 1.4 times. We have premium zooms. And now we are very glad to introduce to you our super telephoto, oh, super telephoto, our super telephoto lens, which is the XF 100 to 400, F 4.5 to 5.6, R, L, M, O, I, S, W, R, one dami. And R is aperture ring, L, M is a linear motor, which later I'll explain. O, I, S is the optical image stabilization, and W, R is weather resistant. So now we are very proud to say that after just four short years, we have expanded the lineup to 21 lenses already. So I know when we first started, people were a bit hesitant to shift to the mirrorless the X-Year system because we didn't have lenses. But now we can confidently say that, hey, all you need is here already. So, so the XF100 to 400 actually expands the shooting range of X-Series dramatically. So, for, so now we cover from 10mm to 560mm. So, Let's see, this is 10mm, this is by Jeff Carter, an ex-photographer. There's 16, there's 15, there's 100, there's 140, from the 50 to 140. There's 400mm, and of course, 560mm. This is with a, a 100 to 400 with a 1.4 teleconverter lens. So you've basically pretty much covered already from your landscapes to portraits to birding actually. So let's look at the key features of the X, um, XF100 to 400. First, of course, again, um, Fujifilm, when you talk about Fujifilm cameras and lenses, it's always about image quality. So first, I'm gonna talk about image quality. So actually, in theory, when you make a super telephoto lens, it's actually very prone to chromatic aberration. So this is the challenge for every lens manufacturer. So what we did was we put as many as six ED lens, it's an extra dispersion lens, including one super ED lens, for us to give you images full of color 
full of detail without false colors. So later, I hope you can touch and try the XF100 to 400 and see how it um, gives you very beautiful images even at 400 mm. And of course, we have, we want the photographers. Uh, the concept of X series is image quality and com and, and compact, being compact. So we want our photographers actually should be able to shoot with the 100 to 400 handheld. So we've put a five-stop OIS image stabilization. That's optical image stabilization. This is a very very powerful OIS. So it offers a strong five stop five stops OIS. Now once again. Let's see how it works. So this is without OIS. Yeah. And this is with OIS. It's five stops OIS. Now that's awesome. Right? Very, very, very effective. And of course, Thanks to the twin linear motor. So remember, Karina sa name niya may LM, that's linear motor. So there's two linear motors. So for fast and silent autofocus. So ideal for shooting, like if you're shooting events, if you're shooting um, live theater performances, so concerts, it's very silent, the uh, XF100 to 400, like of course, every other um, Fujinon lens that we have. And of course, the weight, it's under 1.4 kilos. So together with the XT1, it's actually, it actually weighs like 1.8 kilos lang. And that's um, 600 grams lighter than direct, um, uh, our direct competitor. So 600 grams is very significant. So it's a big deal for us because we want our users to actually use their camera and not be held by the weight. And of course, it's weather well industrial resistant. So you, get, you, know, you can use it um, outside for birding, for, for anything you like. And you, and, uh, you, you need not worry about um, uh, the harsh weather conditions. So here are sample images. We were recently in Tokyo, so this, uh, these images were, uh, are from Lito C, or is photographer Lito C. So this is what I was talking about. It. Um, no chromatic aberration. You don't have false colors. The sky is very blue. You get deep reds. You get the white is white. So um, imagine that technology inside the lens that gives you these um, colors. This is yung Gundam in Odaiba. So this is a very, very tall statue of Gundam, life-size statue of Gundam. Of course, we use it like this one for birding. Or just for art, artsy shots like this. This is by uh, a photographer you can see. And um, uh, I know our ex-photographers have been clamoring for a new uh, flash. So this is our response to our consumers who have been wanting uh, a new flash for X series system. So the EF X500 is designed to be small. Again, it follows the whole X series concept of being compact and lightweight. So it's weather and dust resistant. Also, it supports it supports one over eight thousand shutter speed and multiple uh, TTL flash. And uh, it. Um, we, we know and we hope that it will give more li uh, lighting creativity to our ex users. Alright, um, quickly, na lang, mabilis na lang. this is my last uh, product. So, X70, this is our last product. Uh, I won't go into ano na, details now. So, it's very basically the concept lang of the X70 is very lightweight. It's the smallest and lightest X series camera with APS C sensor. So it uses the same sensor size as that of the X-E2S, the X-Pro1, and the X-T1. So it's thin and can be put in, in, in my pocket. So I use this when you're in Tokyo. It's very, very light, very thin. You can, I, I just put it in my pocket. And we want this camera to be carried anywhere. So it per, it's perfect for traveling or your night out with friends or when you do street shooting. It's very... Uh, it's very, very good to use. So, um, the X70 actually packs a new uh, lens. It's Fujinon 18.5 f2.8 lens. Uh, the 35mm equivalent is 28mm. Uh, so we managed to pack a newly developed lens inside this small body. However, we did not compromise, of course, the quality. It distributes light evenly. 
So it, can, it produces high resolution, high quality image from edge to edge. And of course, uh, we want this camera to be an ideal camera for snap shooting. So kung gusto nyo lumabas with friends, you, you do snapshots of everything. So AF autofocus has to be fast and reliable. So like it's Big Brothers, it has a face, it has face detection pixels, and of course, it has the zone and wide tracking in for for shooting um, moving uh, subjects. And of course, this is another first for the X series. It features a touch screen, touch panel LCD. So it's also tilting 180 degrees. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. You can do selfies. You can do low waist shots. Can do, uh, can do um, low shots. So for example, this is a photo by ex photographer Saiza Bahani. So, so yakita yeah, This is from a low angle shot. Or you can do, you can use it for a street, your street photography, diba? She uh, usually Saiza uses a photography viewfinder, so uh, she uses the camera uh, in a low angle from the hip. This is another. Uh, sample. This is uh, in low light. It's still very good in low light. So you can go unnoticed. And of course, it features a digital converter. So you don't need to worry that it's just a single focal length. Because uh, it has, uh, as I said, digital converter. So there, this is 21mm. But at the same time, if you turn the control ring, it becomes 35mm. And then it becomes 50mm. So that's the new feature. And of course, um, this may be a small camera, but the, uh, the, the XDNA still exists. As you can see, you have dials uh, on the top, and uh, you have still have the aperture ring uh, on the front. So it can be adjusted by one third stop, the, uh, the aperture ring. And of course, it has uh, an optical, you can actually put an optical viewfinder, there's leather, a leather case, a lens hood, and a white conversion lens. So it will be also available um, soon, very soon. So there, uh, we are very, actually very excited to kick off 2016 with uh, these new products. So let me just recap, if you want outstanding image quality and speed, go for the X-Pro2. XF100 will exceed the shooting range dramatically for the whole X-Series system. You, you have the new flash that will uh, make flash photography more creative. And if you want a compact camera, go for the X70 or, or the XC2S. So we are confident to say that we, with these new products, um, the X system will go to the next level. So thank you very much. We have a touch and try uh, table on the side. So I hope you really touch and you really uh, experience uh, these new features um, and our new products. So thank you.